I am Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the second square in the Spring Blossom Throw Crochet Along. And the square for this week is the Blossom Stitch Crochet Afghan Square. And that's the square that you can see here in front of you. It's a very pretty, simple, lightweight design similar on both sides of the fabric. This stitch is made up of V stitches, which are made up of double crochet stitches. And then there's also some single crochet stitches thrown in there as well. So it's a very easy square this week. Beautiful, lightweight fabric, kind of lacy, but not quite. Uh, for each square, you're going to need about 50 yards or 60 yards of uh, yarn. The complete instructions for the entire blanket seen here, as well as more photos, can be found on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com, uh, which will be directly linked in the description of this video. There will also be a direct link there for the free written pattern for our square this week, the Blossom Crochet Afghan Square. Okay, so thank you so much for joining me. You're also going to need a five millimeter crochet hook, and I'm going to be working with some of this Off-White by Karen, uh, Simply Soft by Your Inspirations. So let's uh, grab our hook and yarn, and we'll get started. Each of the squares in this blanket measures approximately 10 inches by 10 inches. If you would like to change the length of your square or need to add or subtract, you're going to start off with a multiple of a foundation chain with a multiple of four plus one stitches for this pattern. Today for the square using my Karen Simply Soft and my five millimeter crochet hook, I'm going to start by chaining 41. Once you have your foundation chain of 41 stitches, you're going to start by working into the third chain from your hook, so count in one, two, three, and into that third chain from your hook, you're going to work a double crochet chain one and another double crochet stitch all into that same chain that's your first V stitch you're then going to skip the next chain and work one single crochet into the next you're now going to repeat skip the next chain and work a V stitch, so double crochet, chain one, double crochet into the next stitch. Skip the next chain, single crochet into the next stitch. Continue that all the way across. Skip the next chain, V stitch into the next. Skip the next chain, and single crochet. You'll continue all the way across to your final two stitches and when you reach your final two stitches you're going to work a single crochet into that final stitch. At the end of row one you're going to chain four and this will count as a double crochet and a chain one and then turn your work. Next, you're going to skip that first single crochet stitch that your chain four is coming out of. You're going to skip the next double crochet and work a single crochet into the chain one space. So into the center of that V stitch. Chain one, skip the next double crochet and work a double crochet stitch into the next single crochet. Chain one, skip the next double crochet and work a single crochet into the chain one space. You're going to repeat that all the way across. Chain one, double crochet into the single crochet, chain one, single crochet into the chain one space. Repeat that all the way across and when you come to the end of 
your row, you're going to chain one and work a double crochet into that final stitch. At the end of row two, I'm just working my double crochet into that final stitch, which is the uh, second chain there in that starting chain. You're then going to chain one and turn your work. For row three, you're going to work a single crochet into the top of that first double crochet stitch. Then you're going to work, skip that chain one space, and work a V stitch into that single cro next single crochet. So V stitch, double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. Single crochet into the next double crochet stitch. So you're skipping the chain one space and V-stitch into the next single crochet. You're going to repeat that all the way across. Double cro single crochet into the top of the double, V-stitch into the top of the single. Repeat that all the way across and you're going to work your final single crochet stitch into the third chain of that starting chain four. At the end of my row three here, I'm working a final single crochet into that third chain. And that brings me to the end of the row. Now for the rest of this pattern, you're simply going to repeat your rows two and your rows three. So your row two was that row that started with the chain four, turn your work, and you're gonna be single crocheting into each V, this uh, chain space of each V-stitch, chain one, double crochet into each single crochet stitch and so forth. And then your row three, which was the row that we just completed. So you're going to continue this until your square measures approximately 10 inches or the desired size. And then you can fasten off, weave in your ends and get ready to work a simple single crochet edging. Once you have finished working your blossom stitch square, a completed square will look similar to this one. And what you're going to do if you're working this spring stitches throw, we're going to work a simple single crochet edging all the way around our block. So you're going to start by joining your yarn with a slip stitch into the top right corner. And you're then going to want to work 39 single crochet stitches evenly all the way across. Okay, so you're going to work your stitches into the tops of your double crochets and into your, uh, into your chain spaces. Uh, you may not work into every stitch or you might add a couple stitches in one. Um, just uh, make sure that your stitches are spaced evenly across and uh, I just chose that number 39 because it sort of covered each of the squares in this blanket quite nicely and um, and uh, and worked out well but you're welcome to switch that number up if you would like just remember to always remain consistent when you're working your blocks just to make it a little bit easier for you to crochet them together in the end. So you're going to work 39 single crochets all the way across the top and then meet me back here. Once you come to your corner stitch you're going to work three single crochet stitches into that corner that's going to bring you around to the, uh, to the other side of your square. 
You're then going to repeat that same thing, evenly work 39 single crochet stitches all the way across. Now here there are no clear places to place your hook, so you're just kind of guessing. Just make sure that your stitches are even across. Once you work your 39 across, you're going to come to your next corner, work three single crochet stitches into that corner and turn your work. Work 39 single crochets across the next side, three in the corner, and turn your work. And then work 39 across the last and final side, three in the corner, and then you're going to join to that first single crochet stitch. And that's all there is to working this blossom stitch square for the Spring Stitches Cal. Um, so thank you so much for joining me, and until next time, happy crocheting! Bye!